Hello, good afternoon, Dr. Min. How are you feeling today? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, my name is Haidir, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate my multimodal artifact, which is gamification. I chose quizzes to be my uh, technological artifact for my uh, teaching activity. The reason why I chose quizzes is because number one, uh, it's better than Kahoot in terms of inclusivity principles. There are various accommodations in quizzes such as extra time for questions, redemption question, participant attempts, radius answer choices, and so on and so forth, as you can see here. Uh, the second reason why I chose quizzes is because it has so many uh, items types, such as multiple choice, uh, polling, or voting, and then uh, myth or fact, true or false, and open-ended, matching, and reorder. And it's free. Uh, it's free for schools. It's free for students and teachers. That's why there are so many features that we can utilize. And the reason why I'm making this video demonstration is because uh, unfortunately, even with free for school features, uh, there's a limitation in terms of the accessibility of the link. As you can see here, uh, the defaults only allow me to set this uh, access link until 25th of April 2024. So hopefully uh you have you would have checked and opened my quizzes link. If not, this video demonstration, uh that's why I'm making this video demonstration as the backup plan. Without further ado, let's get started. So in my quizzes, I have 18 questions. It's about SPLD or specific learning differences. So the context is this gamification is uh, given in the middle of workshop after the first session before the second session. So the first session is all about lots activities or low uh, LO, low order thinking style activities about uh, differentiating the symptoms and characteristics of SPLD. Uh, in my context, the SPLD that we introduce is only the, si the main six categories, which are dyslexia, dyspraxia, dysgraphia, uh, dyscalculia, ADHD, and uh, autism. And after presenting the materials about the first session, this gamification is put in place. Uh, because in this 18 questions, it's about reviewing the lots question, which is really favorable and relevant, suitable uh, by gamification. And some questions, in specifically in these short constructed responses, are open-ended or descriptions, brief descriptions to ask their opinions, their stances and their positions about teaching and learning methods for SPLD. This is the bridge. So this game is not only for reviewing the lots questions, but also as the bridge uh, to trigger their uh, argumentative and uh, hot uh, questions before the second session that is more uh, deeper 
in analytical and critical thinking questions. And I have tried the link uh, to my colleagues in uh, Slowness Care. So let's try uh, the quiz right now. So these accommodations are also optional. For example, uh, because me personally, I love music, so I put the music on. But if you are uh, annoyed by memes or sound or other sound effects, or if you don't need uh, the red text allowed, you can turn off these accommodations options. But I'm going to try them all now. So these features uh, is very engaging and motivating because it offers us with coins. Uh, the th uh, there are so many themes that we can choose and so on and so forth. And as you can see here, I have tried uh, this link to more than five colleagues just to ensure that the link is accessible and uh, there is no default errors whatsoever. Question that image. Question. According to the UK Department for Education Working Group in 2005, what does FTLDS stand for? Option 1, Specific Learning Differences. Option 2, Specific Learning Disability. Option 3, Specific Learning Difficulty. Option 4, Specific Learning Dimensions. You can also turn off the... Uh reading option if you are able to read by yourself. And you can actually turn on the music. You see there's a, and most interestingly, there is answer explanation as the constructive feedback here. The short uh, descriptions why the answer is right or wrong. And there's also hyper link for more info or further details. And that ranking system, uh, we call it the bo uh, scoring board, can also be eliminated or hidden if the students are not really motivated by a sense of competitions. This multimodality that I'm using is also, can also be zoom out or zoom in just to see the uh, visual more clearly. Okay, I'm trying the music on now. I'm sorry. Let me just try that again. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Okay, let me take the link. Okay, I'm going to open my WhatsApp first to get the link back. I'm sorry for this inconvenience. Just give me a sec, Dr. Min. Okay, I think I know the problem is, I think the problem is because I'm using the same account, that's why the 
Three attempts is a bit problematic. So I'm going to try the incognito mode. Hopefully it can. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try the link on incognito mode. Okay, now it's private. Hopefully it's working. Oh yes, it's working. So the visual doesn't look like a reattention uh, mode, okay? I'm going to try. Oh. I'm gonna turn off the read text out loud uh, option so uh, you can see how the music looks like. So there are also the these options of uh, points, star stars for strikes just to even motivate the participants to get the answer right and i love the music because it's very instrumental uh so it's not really annoying or splitting my attention Oops, if the answer is wrong, we can get the answer explanation and we can go to the hyperlink to check the evidence. The hyperlink is very uh, efficient because I turn off the time limit just to make just to make sure that it's inclusive and accommodating for new teachers with dyslexia or dysgraphia or ADHD. Um. This polling system or voting question is there is no right or wrong answer for this. It's just to bridge the their knowledge uh, before the second session. That's why I made the answer explanation. I humanized the uh, feedback. There is no absolute right or wrong answer to this question. However, we will discuss further why and how they are called slow learners in Indonesia but SPLD in the UK.
I also varied the multiple choices, not only by four options, A, B, C, D, but also by other uh, types of questions, such as true or false, and fact or myth, myth or fact, just to add the variety of the question types, to add the, this variety is very exclusive in order to avoid boredom and to build the uh, interactiveness. Because I got some questions not right, there's a feature of redemption question, which means I can re-attempt uh, a question that I got wrong. So hopefully I got this right. Another type of the item is comprehension questions. There are three of there are three questions for this YouTube video. The reason why I'm using this uh visu visual audio uh, multimodality is because I, I want to show them how uh I hope you can still see mine yes the participants can full screen the youtube video so they can see how students with dyslexia uh really see the passages or the reading that we as teachers give them and after uh reviewing the types of dyslexia dimensions and then they can they may continue with these three comprehension questions question 12 and above are a bit challenging in a sense that the distractors are more uh there are more distractors instead of four i made six Sorry, five of them. And the distractors are very uh, similar to each other. It's not really antonym. It's not really obvious. That's why it adds more uh, challenging levels. I also created a short constructed responses just to uh, trigger their uh, opinions and their uh, argumentation skills before proceeding uh, to the second session, which is more hot activities, tasks, and discussions. I also I also always encourage their uh efforts for sharing their thoughts by humanizing the uh, feedback with affections positive affections of course and another uh constructed responses There is no answer key for this constructed responses is because the answers, uh, there is no one right answers only. So uh, their answers would be shown after the gamification in the second uh, session. Uh, their 
thoughts and their agreement or disagreement will be discussed and evaluated further in the next session. And these constructed responses are also the reason why I'm not creating the key answer for the constructed responses is because to avoid the uh, construct other representation or variant re uh, relevance because some new teachers with dysgraphia might have misspellings or typos in their writing skills. That's why uh, eliminating the answer key for the constructed responses would be really favorable and inclusive for them. Another type of question is matching the following definitions, which we would have discussed in before the game in the first session. This multimodality of the question image uh, is intended to scaffold their uh, memorization of the six categories of SPLD that we would have that we would would have discussed in the first session before the game. Um. And again, I also uh, humanize and personalize my feedback just in case uh, some of the participants did not uh, answer it right. So my feedback is like, did you manage to match the definitions? Congrats if you did. If not, please watch this video, which you can zoom in or zoom out with full screen. This video is about the umbrella of SPLD to remind them the characteristics, the differences, and the similarities among the six main categories. And if they pre if they not prefer to watch the video, they can just uh, open the hyperlink to review the uh, definitions, symptoms, characteristics, similarities, and differences among uh, the six common SPLD. Last but not least, my 18 question is about uh, audio comprehension question. There, are, there is only one question, but it's audio just to add the vari another variety of the items. SPLD students need to use efficient learning strategies to encode words in long-term memory and retrieve them with ease. What are the basic principles of teaching vocabulary to students with specific learning differences? The reason why I uh, make this audio question is because some of our teachers are uh, either final year students from English department students and or the first graduates of TESOL, TEFL, ELT or ELL. That's why uh, this type of question would uh, encourage them because they really want, there is one of the reasons why they want to work with us is because they want to practice their English, pedagogy, and technological skills. But if they 
But I also acknowledge that our teachers are not all English teachers because some of them are Indonesian teachers, local uh, teachers like Chinese teachers or other local languages teachers. That's why I also have the uh, written version of the question. It's exactly the same as the audio. SPLD students need to use efficient learning strategies to encode words in long-term memory and retrieve them with ease. What are the basic principles of teaching vocabulary to students with specific learning differences? And again, uh, this is also still considered a multiple choice, but I made it more challenging because the answer key is not only one or two, but all the uh, options. That's it about my quizzes. Hopefully you like it. Uh And this is the summary of the questions, which they can review afterwards. I th I do believe that the hyperlinks that I added in the feedback session or the answer explanation feature after each and every question is really important because uh, ideally the new teachers that we are working with, they are very uh, curious to know and to learn. So this hyperlink is very uh, good for their scaffolding uh, and also for their critical thinking to double check uh, the fact or the data that we are uh, testing in the game. Thank you so much for your time and for your attention, Dr. Min. I uh, hope that I did a great job in my game. Thank you. Bye for now.